Hello and welcome to the S79 Sewing Studio. So as you may have seen, I'm going to be doing a series of quick sewing tutorials over lockdown. So today's sewing tutorial is a quick and simple, great beginners project to make a cotton shopping bag. Um, this is made from a pillowcase. It's great, simple first project. So two straps, the pocket on the inside for you to pop your mobile phone or your, or your car keys. It's nice and strong and can fit lots of shopping in. So great for those trips to the supermarket, which is about all we do these days. <laughs> okay, so to make a um, shopping bag from a pillowcase, the things you're gonna need So just a standard rectangular pillowcase. So in order to turn this into a lovely bag, you're going to need a sewing machine. Um, the only stitch I'll be using today is a straight stitch. So that's all you need. You don't need any fancy stitches, just a straight stitch. Obviously matching cotton, ready, threaded, um, and also wound onto your bobbin. Do a couple of practice samples if this is the first time you've got your sewing machine out in a while, or if it's a new sewing machine. Um, simply because um, you need to make sure that your stitches lay flat, that the bob intention's correct, um, and that the um, thread is all threaded through correctly. So best to just go back to your manual um, and just double check all of that first. So for today, you're gonna need pins, scissors, or a rotary cutter and mat, whichever you have. Obviously, if you don't have the rotary cutter and mat, then just scissors are fine. Um, tape measure for measuring. Some sort of marking, whether it be a pencil or tailor's chalk, bricks on pens are great because they disappear with the heat of the iron, so they don't mark your fabric. Although they can leave some small marks on certain fabrics, so please take care and check first. Um, safety pin for turning the handles back to the right way and a seam ripper should you um, need to unpick any stitches. Great and very handy. Okay, so let's get started. So. Take your pillowcase, turn it inside out, give it a good shake, pull out the corners, there we are, so it's inside out, then take this flap and turn it so that you have the raw edges, the raw overlocked edges on the outside there and you can pull on that just to make that nice and flat and again there. So what we have now is your pillowcase completely inside out with this flap over here and you can see the raw edges running all the way along down to the bottom and again all the way along down to the bottom. Now this particular pillowcase is folded at the bottom. Um, you may find that your stitches run all the way along the bottom depending on the construction of your pillowcase. So at this point, press flat all of these seams Okay then, so I've pressed the pillowcase completely flat, so all the seams are nice and flat here, and obviously mine has a fold at the bottom, but we're gonna put a run of stitches along there. Okay, so with the top lined up, nice and square, we're going to chop off the flappy bit all the way through all the layers. So I'm gonna take my ruler. Oops. Obviously, you can snip it off. But just for speed, for this tutorial, I'm just going to chop that off all the way on. Make sure it's nice and flat. And I'm just gonna use my rotary cutter to remove that top edge. So there we are. Um, this bag, um, as I mentioned, potentially may hold heavy items um, when you do your shopping. If you get your groceries um, or you're doing a Friday night shop and it's got bottles of wine and gin in it we want it to be nice and strong so stitches can break and the, and the cotton can can get worn with repeated washing so we're going to run a row of stitches all the way down the sides along the bottom and all the way up the sides no need to take the old stitches out we're just reinforcing them so follow the same line If the bottom edge has a fold, then make your new line of stitches about a centimetre from the edge. So 
So that's the base of the bag, reinforced with the stitching, can be put to one side. So that's the base of the bag. Taking the um, flaps that we cut off, so three layers of fabric you'll, you'll probably have here. So first thing, I'm just gonna chop off the overlocked edges. So I'll take the scissors for this. So just cut off the seams off the edges. So we're chopping away that overlocked and stitched edge there and there. So opening it out, we have a folded piece with a hemmed edge and we have another piece here which is a, a, a slightly smaller rectangle, so not so wide. So I'm going to put the, the smaller one up there and take the, the wider rectangle here. I'm then going to mark down, so this is the raw edge, we have the hem along here. I'm just going to mark an inch down. So taking my tape measure, placing it on the top, I'm going to use the red pen to show you. I'm going to put a mark there and again an inch down a mark there and perhaps a mark in the middle there. So line up all the marks that you've just made and draw a line. There we are. Then take the hemmed edge and fold it up. If you have lines, then obviously it's handy, you can, you can match them up, but line them up with this ed, this line that you've just marked with pen. So put that down there. So this is going to be your pocket, the pocket that goes inside. So decide how wide you want your pocket. Seven inches. And put a mark. This, you can make this pocket however wide you want to. Um, this will be just over six inches wide once I've done the seam allowances, so that will be fine. So again, using the ruler to see the marks, just put a mark down there and cut off the excess. So I'll use my scissors for this. So cut straight through there and put this piece to one side. So now what you have is you have the insides but with the folded edge coming and sitting stopping one inch before the edge so you have an extra flap an inch over the top and just to hold that all in place just going to pop a couple of pins in there just to hold the pocket in place there Oops, and there, there we are. Next we're going to do some stitches down both sides just to just to make the actual pocket itself is one centimeter in from the outside edge straight there and the other side the same so one centimeter in there's two rows of stitches running up and down these outer edges but can remove the pins and turn the pocket the right way pushing out the corners and there you have your pocket like so so we'll just press this down now and there you have your completed pocket next we're going to make the handles so i'm going to use this longer piece here to make my handles so what i'm going to do here is cut off this extra piece this, this bottom fold here i'm going to cut that completely off and also taking that off there use my rotary cutter all the way across there so it's not cutting properly so now i, I have i have this piece here what i'm now going to do is cut this in half so i'm just going to mark across there like so and rotary cut it all the way along so what you should be left with here is two long thin rectangular pieces just for reference my pieces are 19 inches in length and two and a quarter inches in width you should have a pocket which you've made and the body of your bag which is the rest of the pillowcase so let's make the handles okay so to make the handles we're taking the pieces um, the, the, the handle pieces and I'm going to fold them in half lengthways so that the two raw edges meet up and just put a couple of pins all the way along just to make sure 
that it all lines up. Then we're going to stitch down this edge to hold the two raw edges together. Sewing under a centimetre if possible from the raw edge to create your handles. So again, as before, backwards and forwards for a couple of stitches. Remove your pins as you go. Don't stitch over the top of your pins and straight line all the way down. Don't need to push or pull the fabric. The feed dogs will take the fabric. Just guide it. Okay, so you have two straps now with a fold at the top and a row of stitches along the bottom there. So we're going to turn the straps the right way around. Um, and for this, you're going to use your safety pin. So when, when you get your safety pin inside, you want to be taking your safety pin and pushing it down inside the channel pulling it back up so that the spiky end of the safety pin goes through the seam allowance and a good chunk of it as well, not just a tiny bit because it may pull um, and come undone. And then you're just going to push the safety pin back down inside the channel and as you go, pulling the outer fabric, just the outer fabric, up and over the top. So you're just turning the whole, the whole channel inside out. There we are. Once you have the top bit turned, if you pull on the seam allowance, it just helps everything to, to slide down inside. There we are. So push down, pull on the seam allowance, push down, pull on the seam allowance. You can feel the safety pin inside. So you're pushing the safety pin down, pulling up on the seam allowance. Push the safety pin down, pull up on the seam allowance. Simple. <laughs> There we are. And when you get to the point where it's coming out underneath, you can just pull it all the way over like so. Pull it all the way, and there we are. So now it's time to press these straps flat. There's the strap. The seam is in the very edge there. Okay, so at this point now, you should have um, your bag piece, so the main body of your bag. You should have a pocket, which we made earlier, and two straps. The next thing to do is with your bag still inside out and the opening at the top here, I'm going to measure down two inches from the raw edge. So measuring down two inches, put a mark, measure down two inches, put a mark, I'd say it again, <laughs> two inches, put a mark, two inches, put a mark. And using the ruler, Join up all your marks to make a line all the way along there. So you can see the line all the way along the top. Turn the bag over so you still have the opening at the top and two inches down from the top we're going to put a mark on this side so. So now you have your bag with a mark all the way around the top edge, two inches down. So the next part is to start in with the side seam, fold the side seam to one, one side or the other, and fold the raw edge down to meet the line that you've just drawn, and pop some pins in to hold it in place. There. If you put the pin so that it's over the edge, it will make pressing it much easier. So again, Fold it, the line, so that it meet, the raw edge meets your line and pop a pin in. And do this all the way around the top edge. That's it. So there you are, you can see now I have the fold at the top here and the, the raw edge is lined up with the line that I've just drawn. So we're going to press that flat now. So that's been pressed flat. So we can remove the pins. Now we're going to do another fold. So we're going to fold it another inch over. So we, we, we literally, if I turn the bag around, you can see. So I'm just taking this here and I'm folding it at the point at which 
the other fold comes to an end so we're just turning it another inch there and putting some pins in it as before so all the way around keeping the seams so that the seam lines line up with the seam line to keep it all nice and straight there. so there we are all the way around folded over and again press this so we have a double fold at the top just trying to get those folds nice and flat so again remove the pins once you have the folds marked okay so now it's time um, to assemble the bag so um, first of all we're going to attach the pocket so um, you need to find the center point of the pocket so with the flap on the outside here and mark the center like so mark that center point with a pen and then the same for the bag so take the two side seams put them together like so and again center point here marked with a pin open the bag back out and transfer that with with a mark with a pen next we're going to take the pocket so with the flap at the top with your marking in the centre, line that up with the centre of your bag. And if you undo the fold, put the raw edge of the pocket flap right at the top and then bring that back down over the top. And what you should notice is that the fold of the top of the bag lines up nicely with the fold of the pocket. We don't want that to be underneath because obviously that's where you're going to be putting your mobile phone or your keys or whatever else is in there. So just put a couple of pins in at the top just to hold your pocket in place. Next, we're gonna put the, the straps in. So decide how long you want your straps. These are, are gonna be handle straps for me. Um, so I've, I've just trimmed the edge off and they are, they are now sitting at 18 inches long. Obviously you can make them shorter or longer if you wish. Five inches from the side place a mark and again from this side so finding the side seam there marking five inches then take the handle the seams on the inside we're going to turn it and tuck that underneath so that the outside edge lines up with the mark that I've just made and again pop a pin in there Make sure that the handle isn't twisted and do the same with this mark. So on the inside of the mark there. So that there is how the top of the bag should look. With the pocket in place and the handles. Turn the bag over. Again, mark from the side seam inwards five inches and from this side again from that side seam five inches pop the strap underneath and pop a pin in and strap underneath and pop a pin in there so now your bag should have this should be inside out so you should have the pocket and the straps all pinned in place and on the other side just the strap all held in place. So now it's time to do um, a row of stitches all along the bottom of this. And I'm going to start on a side seam. So open the bag out, taking care not to knock any of the pins out. Lift up the presser book and I'm just lining it up a couple of millimetres in from this, this edge, this folded edge at the bottom here. Again, forwards, backwards to begin with, and then just follow it round, all the way round. So you can see there, the stitches, just a couple of millimetres away. As you get to the points where your bag handles and your pockets are, just make sure, removing any pins as you go. And at the point which you're doing the pocket, make sure you're not stitching the opening down on the pocket. Turn 
turning the bag carefully as you go. And, and there we are. And now the bag is stitched with the handles on the inside. So now we need to turn the handles so that they're up on the outside. So to do that, we're just simply going to fold the handles back upwards so that they lay up and again, pop a pin in. Make sure they're nice and straight. So there they are. And the same with that. There. And the same with the other side. Keep the pocket down on the inside. So it's just the handles that we're turning from that side up to point upwards, which is where we hold it. There. And again with that one. Nice and straight. There. With the handles pinned upwards. I'm now going to do a row of stitches along the top edge. So just a couple of millimetres from this top edge here. And we're going to stitch all the way around. So again, starting at a side seam. There. A couple of millimetres in from the outside top edge. Go all the way around. And when you come to the handle, make sure the handle is pulling out this way. Um, and when you stitch over it again, remove the pin and just backwards and forwards over the handle just to reinforce that section there and then carry on. Same with this handle, make sure it's nicely out the way. And once you're on the top, backwards and forwards. What I want to do at this point is do a cross of stitches on the handles just to really reinforce those handles. They are going to be the point at which um, you're carrying all that weight with. So what I'm going to do here is on this, on this handle, I'm going to show you where we're going to be stitching. So you don't need to mark it out, but obviously if you wish to. So from the top corner to that corner and then another row of stitches along the bottom. So I've just roughly sketched out what it is you're going to be stitching. So we're going to start at the top corner, down, across and back up on each of the handle points. Again, make sure you don't accidentally stitch the handle in the process. So we're going to start at the corner at the top and backwards and forwards to begin. Down to the corner, leave your needle down, lift the presser foot, twist around, put it back down again and go along the bottom, again twist the bag around, back up to the top and backwards and forwards to finish and I'll show you the stitches there which hopefully you can make out over the top of my cross that I drew, so that's there and then on the outside you obviously have the cross stitching there which really will hold that handle nice and strong so do that on each of the ends of the straps okay so all of the straps have been reinforced and secured in place so now it's time to turn the bag back to the right way so give it a good shake there we are push out the corners put your hand down and push the corners down there and that one and there we have it your shopping bag nice and strong with two handles and a pocket inside for your car keys or your mobile phone or anything else you need to hand while you're shopping but the other handy thing you can do with this pocket is your bag so it's ready for when you go shopping. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that video. I hope you'll make some bags. I'd love to see some photos if you do get around to making any bags. If you have any questions, um, if there's anything I didn't explain very well, then please get in touch. Please let me know. Um, I'm hoping to do lots more videos during lockdown um, just to inspire you. Um, the next video will be on Wednesday and I'm going to be showing you how to make a cushion from an old jumper. Um, so have a look around if you have an old jumper, if you have 
any old clothing that you'd like to upcycle, I'd love to hear from you and I'd look and I'd love to help you upcycle your clothing. Keep, let's keep it out of landfill um, and have some fun while we're doing it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. I really, really appreciate um, and look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you.